Right, so we, we're here at Linaro Connect here in Hong Kong. So who are you? My name is Greg Crow Hartman. So what do you do? I work for the Linux Foundation. I'm a Linux kernel developer, and I maintain the Linux stable releases. So what does that mean? Um, Linus does the release of the development kernel every th two and a half to three months. And then I take that and every week or so do the backporting of the patches and apply those and release those. So I do that. And I'm also a subsystem maintainer. I maintain USB, the driver core, the character devices, TTY, and a lot of other weird little stuff. So, so. that's a lot of work, no, is it? Yes. Yes, well, that's my job. So how does a usual day for you, or what is, happens? Uh, if I'm not traveling to conferences, my usual day is wake up, read email, uh, review patches, apply patches, and that's it. And if I'm lucky, sometimes I get to write some my own, my own patches, but that's rare. So what is your interest? Like, basically, uh, uh, why do you work on Linux and stuff? I've worked on Linux for a very long time. Um, I'm interested in devices and drivers and make sure Linux supports every type of device out there, and we pretty much do. But I want to make sure it does for all new devices that are coming out. So I will always have something to do. So here is Linaro Connect. So what do you think about Linaro? Um, Linaro is great. It's a great um, organization that allows companies that license the ARM processor type to come together and solve solutions for Linux in a way that helps everybody. Um, it's something the ARM itself can't do and it's something that the individual um, chip manufacturers don't seem to be able to do very well, and Lenaro allows it to work together very well. It's really nice. Is it impressive what they're able to achieve in short kind of time? Or um, Impressive, yes. They're now in the top 10 contributors to the Linux kernel this past year. Lenaro's done great. Um, they still have a lot of work to do, um, as ARM needs a lot of catch up in some areas to make sure Linux works really well on it. But yeah, Lenaro's done a really good job. I'm really impressed. So there was these articles about uh, uh, Linus Torvalds was kind of uh, saying something about the ARM community. At oh the yeah, point. it was horrible. So, <laughs> what, so is it getting better or is it getting different? Or Yeah, in the past year the Linux ARM developers have done a really good job. They've cleaned up a lot of the mess they've had. They've fixed their development process. They've fixed the fact that they were duplicating drivers in different parts of the kernel tree. And they've gotten a lot better. Um, that being said, they still have a lot of work to go. They realize that, and they're continuing to improve on that. But yes, the past year, um, I definitely give them props for that. They've done a very good job. Uh, Linux is, on ARM devices, for example, Android, is awesome. Yeah, it's everywhere. And so this is like uh, mass consumer Linux devices, right? Yeah. It's possible to say. So uh, yeah. that might mean that uh, the Linux community is really like enthusiastic about seeing ARM devices making this uh, like reaching all the consumers and stuff in com compared to Windows stuff and laptops and all that. Well, I mean, Linux has always worked well on ARM. I mean, to be fair, Linux on ARM has taken over the world before other things, but Linux on x86 also does well. But Linux on ARM is like the number one selling laptop last year from Amazon, the Chromebook. That was an ARM Samsung chip. Um, I have one. My daughter has one. It's a very nice laptop. Um, so to say it hasn't won over that, it's not true. Um, we have we are the number one used operating system in the world. We did take over and nobody noticed. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's cool to see it in, in like, uh, kind of like when you see the Windows PCs and all that and, and seeing consumers adopt in a mass way. And it's really fast. The Chromebook just came out in October. Like, it's, it's going Yeah, fast. Uh, to be fair though, companies have sold Linux desktops for a long time. I used to work for SUSE and we sold Linux and pre-installed on Nat on laptops, on netbooks, and made a profit. So if hardware manufacturers want to do that, they can. And there's nothing stopping them, just they don't choose to do that for some desktop machines. That's their, that's their choice. They're allowed to do that. Other companies that have chosen not to do that, like Google with the Chromebooks, are succeeding very well. That's Linux. And uh, is, is it okay if I ask you about uh, all these lawsuits? Or there's nothing? What lawsuits? Like Apple and Microsoft are I know Android. nothing about That's them. Different. I don't different know anything. I'm a developer. I don't okay. know anything about that. So what are you looking forward to in uh, this year, in the next few months and stuff? Um, 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking forward to? Um, lots more continuing new hardware's coming out. ARM, uh, I'd like to see 64-bit ARM chips in the wild. We see the architectures landed in the kernel before the chips are made, which is great. I've heard some rumors that devices are coming. I'd be nice to see those. Um, new hardware, I've heard some other rumors about some really good Intel um, interconnects that are coming. Um, I want to see Linux work well on that. And um, so yeah, so it's just new devices coming. It's fun. May I ask you just uh, some question about uh, how is Asia and all the developers in Asia working together with all the developers in the rest of the world? Is it just like uh, this perfect collaboration going all over the world with Linux? It, it is a big collaboration. Um, I've, we've been working in Asia to drag um, Asia into the Linux community for a number of years. We've been going to Japan for six, seven, eight years. Been doing really, really well. Last year we've been going into Korea. There's Linux Con Korea was last year. It was a huge success. We're going back again. Um, we've done stuff. I've been to China, um, here in Hong Kong, um, Japan again. Yeah, it's everywhere. 